Hi, I'm Natasha and I'm the founder of Noah. Noah is a vegan and cruelty-free home fragrance brand based in Manchester and everything is made by hand by me. Our products stand out amongst the rest for not only their affordability, but the fact that they can help improve your general mood and well-being. I create scents that can help relieve things such as anxiety, depression, stress, insomnia, and in general, the blends can just help you find that little bit of calm amongst the craziness of today all the while not costing the earth or your purse to enjoy. To me, now it is more than just a home fragrance brand. I started it in my second year of university whilst I was going through quite a lot of personal issues. So it's helped me grow as a person. And I've even had the opportunity to be stocked in over 20 independent boutiques and businesses all over the UK. To be a finalist for the Health and Wellbeing Entrepreneur of the Year is such a surreal feeling. I can barely put into words how it makes me feel like I've never considered myself to be an entrepreneur and I submitted the application because my partner suggested I should and to actually be here recording this is just amazing. Like to be recognised amongst so many wonderful entrepreneurs who have achieved so many great things it is really surreal and it has made me realise how much I've worked to get to where I am and the fact that I've been juggling both my studies and this full time. It, it's just, yeah, it makes me feel very, very grateful for such an amazing opportunity. The future for Noah is definitely a little bit out there. Um, the first thing is to get a unit to work in because I'm vastly outgrowing my current situation and I feel like if I had the space, I could definitely grow the brand more and I'd have a much better work and like home life. Um, so that would be good. And I'm also thinking in the future when I've got a little bit more money to play around with, I would love to buy an old bus and renovate it into a workshop um, and attend markets and events making candles. So yeah, that's a little while off yet, but I'm excited to see what the future holds.